Good morning, hello, and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. You know what? I'm looking at the window right now. What a morning. Okay, we are, it's raining. Actually, hopefully, maybe I can show you guys the, what kind of weather like in Tucson at the moment. Hold on, let me flip the camera there. Uh, as you can see, man, it's been raining all night. So, this is great. This is fantastic morning. Fantastic morning. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. Uh, so this morning, uh, just like Tyler said, I'm going to show you guys how to make, you know, single shot espresso. Because I know a lot of you, I, I'm getting a lot of comments uh, over the uh, over the years. Who and how can I dial in? Okay, single shot espresso. Because the fact is. The back of your tray on your Barista Espresso Pro, they give you two single shot baskets. One say double wall on it, and the, this one has nothing on it. So this one is like non-pressurized baskets. So if you want to get a good quality shot, you want to use a non-pressurized basket. But double wall, they're same as like pressurized baskets. So, so this one, you, uh, you, could, uh, you can use your pre-grind coffee as well, and also you know, you don't have to be dialed in perfectly to get a perfect shot. So maybe I'm going to give you a little demo on this one. And then, but this morning, uh, let's put a shot first with single, single shot baskets. And then I'm, uh, I'm going to be you. Okay, excuse me for a second. I'm going to be using, so I just opened the Ethiopia uh, Yaka Check uh, from Good Brothers Coffee. So this, I just opened it this morning. Ethiopia is very fruity, so it's great for like long black or Americano for that as well. Let's see here. Uh, this is a natural, okay, this is naturally processed Ethiopia coffee beans here. And the strawberry, lemon, and papaya, okay. It's gonna be really good. Okay, uh, so this one roasted on June 14th. So it's about, what, four or five weeks ago. Actually, no, it's about almost, yeah, about four, five, about four weeks ago. So uh, let's dial in this one, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to use a single, uh, single basket this morning. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, a lot of fun. All right. So let's get going. So with the single shot baskets, uh, if you are using 18 gram, uh, instead of using 18, you are going to use 19 gram instead. Uh, I'm sorry, nine gram. You're gonna cut that in half. And but here's the kicker, though. Uh, but if you are comes to shot time, they're identical. Okay, between uh, 25 to 35 seconds, if that's what you like, it's gonna be the exact same ratio. It's gonna be if you like one to two ratio, so a nine gram in, like 18 to 20 gram out. Shot time, same thing between 25 and 35 seconds. 25 and 30 seconds. If you count the infusion, I like to go maybe you know. 30 to 35 seconds, that's what I like. So, uh, let's do it. So I already prepared nine gram here. Again, not everybody likes double shots, but the single shot, you know what, the fact is, by the way, how many of you out there likes to use single shot baskets on your machine, coffee machine? Please, I'd love to hear from you guys. And also, do you get pretty good results with it? Yeah, let me know in the comment section. I'm just gonna uh, just take the portal filter, uh, filter basket out, just replace with, I'm gonna use the non-pressurized basket, which means that has lots of holes in it. I'm just gonna just flush because I want to heat up the filter basket there. So we have a nine gram here. Hold on a second, yeah, so, so this is nine gram. 37, yep. So I'm using, uh, you know, let's use a built-in grinder too. Okay, let's, let's use a built-in grinder. So I wanna be precise, okay? So I'm going to be using the dosing cup. So I got nine gram in. 
I got 8.9 gram out, so it's pretty close. Okay, I'm pretty good with that. Again, every uh, every step is the same as you are using the double baskets. Okay, there's no difference there. I'm just gonna use my dosing funnel. Okay, shake it up a little bit. So it looks something like this as well. I'm just gonna distribute. And you know what? Same, everything is the same, except the filter basket size. Okay. And then let's pull the shot. So we're gonna be doing, again, a nine gram in, around 18 gram out. Uh, shot time, same thing between like, you know, let's do 25 and 30 uh, seconds there. So let's see what, what we're gonna get. Okay, let's get going here. All right, so I like to do the manual. I know big, I, I am a big fan of manual mode, so I'm just gonna hold down the any buttons. Going into pre-infusion. Let's do about six second pre-infusion. Shrink for around 18 to 20 grams. About 30 seconds there. That's it. So this is a single shot, guys. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's try that shot. Let's find out. Single shot is even worth doing. Okay. I thought it was a little slow, okay, because I, I'm, I want to be a little faster, but... Cheers. Wow, not bad, okay. Man, all the, the tasting note is there. I can definitely uh, taste the strawberry. This is incredible. It's good. By the way, how many people likes to, actually likes to drink single shot espresso? Okay, so this is about 20 gram shot. And uh, that's it. So, man, I mean, yeah, you know what, I don't think, yeah, let me know in the comment section, I don't think it's worth it, okay? Doing the single shot, I mean, if you're gonna work on to dial it in properly and pulling a shot, I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, but I know some of you out there might, you know, beg to differ, but yeah, but goodness. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this one to Americano here. I'm just gonna put some hot water in it. In that tiny cup. There we go. I think, yeah, yeah if you want to do single shot, I think it's just a better to make, you know, Americano than just drink straight up. Well, much better, okay? It's definitely worth, I don't know about worth doing it, but I mean, if you want to lower your caffeine consumption every day, and the single shot is, it might be better for you, but same time, sometimes it's very hard to dial then. So, as you can see, the puck is somewhat wet as well. And then, it's get messy, okay? I put a lot of single shots before, I always have messy puck, so. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna show you how this uh, sink, non, uh, pressurized basket works. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna pull the shot, but I'm just gonna show you on my bottomless pour filter. See that what that look like. Because I think it's pretty cool to watch. Okay, so this is the double wire baskets with a single, 
I know most of you already know, but if you are new to the channel, if you are new to the uh, double wire basket, if you see that tiny holes there, so all the water is uh, pressurized, go from that single wall, a single uh, holes. Okay. All right, let me show you. So look something like this. Do you see that, that, that stream? So that's the how pressurized basket works. Yep. So, but whenever you see pressurized baskets, you see a lot of crema. But they're not the real crema. That's more like a pressurized coffee. So like look like crema, but it's not more like fake crema. So. And it's, again, I mean, if you don't have time to dive in your coffee, the pressurized basket is way to go. But if you, you know, if you can, just make sure to dial it in properly and get the proper shots, okay? Uh, let's see, any question about a single basket this morning? No. no, no basket, okay. So that's that for this morning's, uh, our live streaming. And then let me give you guys a quick update on, uh, let's see here. Hold on. Let me guys keep update on the vacuum seal, okay, vacuum canister. So you guys remember the past Monday, I, uh, I was comparing with the fellow Atmos versus the Amazon uh, vacuum. So this is an automatic, uh, automatic vacuum container versus this is a manual vacuum, okay. So this one, you have to twist it to get the air out. This one, just press the button there. So I start at the same time. So the reason why I use the marshmallow, they give you that visual effect. So still hold the vacuum after what, five days later, and both of them, okay? So if you are looking for vacuum uh, seal, coffee canister, Fellow Atmos is my go-to. But this one is automatic from Amazon, to be determined, okay? To be determined on this one because I love the concept of it, but comes to connectors for the power charging, it's very flimsy, okay? So I already let them know that as well. So um, if you are looking for the vacuum seal container, I think my recommendation is Fellow Atmos. So watch this one. So it was last, what, Monday or Tuesday, I put it in, hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, which means the vacuum hold it, works pretty good. And then for this one, same time, as you can see, yep. So, I mean, it works great, okay? And then simply, you just press the button to start the vacuum there. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. So, it looks good. I mean, both works. And with the fellow Atmos, same thing as well. You just twist to get the air out. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys. I mean, again the mash, ma mash money for the, just the visual. If you are using coffee, obviously, you're gonna be vacuum sealed for a long time, okay? I know some of you out there, the vacuum is now work, no longer working, or well, whenever it's not working, just take, the, uh, take it apart, just make sure gently clean it, and they, you should be able to start back, back to work. So again, now everything is, all, you know, nicely vacuumed. It's a lot of fun to use it. All right, what else? What else is going on? Oh, well, okay, and then uh, I just modified my DF64. I'm gonna big shout out to Eduardo from Florida. Send me the DF64 base. So let me show you. So this is all matching black theme here. Okay, let's take a look. So we, we have the adapter, okay, for the cup holder. The reason why we are doing this, so get the right angle for that, okay. Right angle to come the uh, cup it grinds out. And also, it, it also make me this base as well. Kind of like 10 degree tilt, so all the coffee grinds are come out directly. 
Again, to having that little bit of uh, angle makes it a lot easier. And also we got the, I was planning on using the anti declumping tool it made, but this is too tight, okay? So I couldn't use it, but yeah. So hopefully we, we, we're gonna make some adjustment on that as well. So this is the anti popcorning. So this is the one uh, Linda made for us. Uh, what last week, but this hole is too small, so I already stuck there. But this one is a little larger. But anyway, so there's, by the way, if you are thinking about getting a DF64, uh, there's a lot of modification you can download from the, the Thingiverse. So, you, I mean, you can have some really cool modification on DF64. Again, that looks really sharp. And then my plan is, I'm planning on uh, get the base. Well, let me show you guys. Just simply take it out. So this is the base. Just put the top of it. And then I'm hoping uh, I'm going to convert. So I'm going to give this one to one of my friends of mine. And then I'm going to have him uh, make this one like maple or, uh, uh, maple or walnut. Okay? Maple or walnut. So it's going to be... I'm gonna have some nice wooden trim on the back, uh, on the bottom piece there on the base. It's gonna look pretty sharp. So that's the, my next plan. Let's see here. Say that again. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do. Uh, well, let's see. Any questions this morning? Ice rocket. I, ice rocket. Okay, we have Ice Rocket has question. Okay. The DF64 is a flawed grinder. How, however, anyone wants to spin it. Okay, so uh, Ice Rocket has the DF64 is flaw flaw grinder. Man, I love to hear about your opinion as well. I love to hear what your thoughts are. If you have DF64, let me know what you don't like about this grinder. It, it's not perfect. Okay, you are absolutely correct. All right, it's not perfect. Not perfect at all. But $450 shift and again unless you want to spend like you know a couple of grand I mean niche is pretty good okay don't get me wrong I love niche but the niche they give a lot of thoughts on detail okay they're really attention to detail niche is great but DF64 they're trying to be like niche trying to be a single dose and also flat bird, the making flat bird, the single dosing is, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. So, I mean, you know, they try best they can to come up with this design. Uh, this design has been around for a long time in China, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Ice Rocket is correct. This is, this is not a perfect, you know, grinder, but you have a lot of option to mo uh, modify this. And plus you're going to have some fun with it as well, so. Uh, what else? Any, anything else this morning? By the way, uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, I mean, this is what we do pretty much every morning. You know, we talk about, you know, some fun topics in the morning, talk about how to do. Even this morning, we talk about the single shot and trying to dial in, talk about it for a little bit, and then follow by make some coffee. And, you know, we just talk about coffee, that's it. You know, this is, you know, pretty fun channel there. We don't take coffee. I take coffee seriously, but I don't take seriously about the channel. It's, 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 it's all fun. It's fun. Uh, anything else this morning? Uh, Dane said you should do a, a leopard print. Uh, Dane mentioned about the leopard print. You know what? I mean, that's... Again, DF64, if you have access to 3D print, you're going to have some fun with this. But 64 millimeter flapper, that's no joke, okay? So that works pretty good. And then you can modify, man, you can modify a lot. I mean, I mod, I, goodness. You know, maybe we, uh, let's pull the shot, okay? So let's pull some shot here. Um, let's do that. While you're pulling a shot, do you have any feedback or experience with the Oracle machine? Okay, Oracle machine is uh, from Bravo. They're, they're, they're in another level, okay? They are not cheap machine. You are looking at over $2,000 for Oracle. But they're like somewhat automatic, somewhat, it's almost automatic, let's put it that way, okay? You pull the, uh, you pull, uh, grinds it, they're gonna temp it for you. I mean, that does pretty much everything. 
but yeah, I mean, they're, again, they're a great machine. If you're a fan of Bravo, uh, people like to start with the Bravo Barista Express, maybe go up to Oracle, or if you like to do manual process, you go to uh, Brista Express or Pro to maybe do a boiler with a separate grinder. So you can go to different routes. But if you really like, if your coffee is your hobby, maybe start with the Brista Express or Pro, maybe jump into maybe like dual boiler with the E61 group type of machine. So you have a lot of options, but yeah. But again, I mean, if you just want the coffee, plenty good enough. Okay, so if you want a more automatic machine, yeah, I mean, Oracle, definitely check out the Oracle. All right, so let's pull the shot with DF64. You know what? Uh, I'm thinking, you know, let's use the IMS filter basket. Why not? Okay, I have an IMS filter basket right here. Okay, so uh, Guatemala coffee beans, is that sour? No, sour means you are under extracted. So you might want to change your grinder setting. Okay. So we are going to try out the uh, DF64 with, okay, so here's the one thing about the mod, okay? Again, it's not perfect. Here, let's check this out. Because this motor is really powerful. If I'm going to start it, you're going to see the entire base is going to shake. You see that? Again. You, they move. So they're pretty slippery. So you might want to put some kind of rubber mat on the bottom to prevent them moving around. But I mean, you have a mat for that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull uh, let's do, since I'm using the IMS, let's do 21 gram shot, okay? Somebody asked if you'll do a basket comparison, the DSG and IMS shot. Okay, so... Uh, single basket. Single basket. There's no single basket for BST or IMS. And then I think, I, wait, I think uh, yesterday uh, the Spro did a the video on filter baskets, okay? I know if you guys know who Spro is, he's the, another YouTube uh, channel guy he is fantastic there he did an entire comparison from IMS VST permanent yeah I mean make sure if you haven't seen that video make sure to check it out he does good work but so what I'm gonna do is uh, let's do, do 21 gram I'm gonna do 21 grams so also I'm gonna show you the retention rate as well okay if you haven't seen DF64 so I'm gonna do 21 gram here. It comes to grinder size. You know what, I, I use it as yesterday, so it might change, but we'll see. We got 21. Go ahead. Oh, so I'm going to big shout out to Dane's going to order P100. Okay, so I'm putting 21.09 gram here. Okay, let's put it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so this is the adapter Ed made for us. So, okay, from there, put it in. So I'm using the one hand action. Very floppy. I'm just gonna tap it a few more times. So you got 20, 21.09 gram in. Let's find out how many grams we, we're gonna get out of it. Okay. I'm just gonna put it out here. 29. 20.86, which means I have some coffee grinds from yesterday, okay? Again, I mean, if you are looking for true zero retention, 
though I'm talking about true, you know, 10 gram in, 10 gram out, this is not it, okay? So this is more like point, uh, 0.01 to the point over 0.02 gram. Uh, you're gonna have some retention there. But you know what, what's 0.1 or 0.2 gram? It's nothing, okay, whenever you pull the shot. So, uh, actually, no, hold on, hold on. So, th so this one was a 20 point, 21 point oh, yeah. So we are up by maybe what, 0 0.2 gram, 0 0.02 gram, so can't complain. I mean, it's not bad, not bad at all for the what you pay for. So let's prepare the shot here. By the way, so I mean, Dane mentioned about the, it's called Lagoon P100. I mean, if you guys are into high-end coffee grinder, there are 98 millimeter, the flat first setup. They're simply, I mean, work of art, okay? The option O makes amazing coffee grinder. So I'm just gonna, since we are using the bottomless pore filter, I'm, I like to use the, my WDT tools there. I'm just gonna prepare for this. The great thing about the IMS filter baskets, so this one hold up to 22 grams, so 18 to 22. And then the thing is, if you are using the somewhat lighter roast, you can put about 23, 24 gram in it. So again, if you guys like a lot of coffee, if you guys like a lot of espresso, this filter basket is pretty cool, pretty nice to have. So now, a temp, you see the space between? So they give you a lot of head space. So let's pull the shot, I got 21 gram in. I'm, I'm trying to shoot for around 40. So let's do the one to two ratio. Uh, let's do like 40, 40 gram out to like maybe 42. Okay, even 45. At this point, I'm not that picky at the moment. Okay, just gonna, hopefully we're gonna have a no, no channeling here. Let's see. Let's find out what kind of shot we're gonna get this time. Make sure line up perfectly. Okay, this is too slow. Yep, grinder size way too fine there. Okay, so about 57 seconds, okay. The shot is way over extracted. Man, but you know what? Let's try anyway, okay? I mean, even though that's over extracted shot, but sometimes it might be, you know, sometimes we can be pleasantly surprised. Again, which means over extract means it's gonna be extremely bitter, okay? Okay, so bitter means your shot is over extracted, kind of like guideline. And the sour means under extracted. And also if you are using the water temperature, it's not hot enough, you get also a sour shot as well. So it all depends. But sometimes, you know what, I don't, I don't waste coffee in my channel, so cheers. Even though this shot is gonna be bitter. Hmm. Even though this is really bitter, it's not bitter at all. I see plenty of strawberry flavor, the note, quite pleasant.
they're quite pleasant. Again, so it comes to, I mean, you guys see me every single morning making coffee. I mean, so this is kind of like the process of making coffee every single morning. I, it's all depend on what kind of machine you guys have, but the process is all the same thing. Doesn't matter if you are using Brista Pro or if you are using La Merzacco, even Slayer, exactly the same process. You, know, you have to adjust the grinder, followed by proper temping, distribute and temp and pull the shot. All depend on your ratio, you know, one to two ratio, one to three ratio. Think about the shot time. So this is that kind of like process of making coffee every single morning. If you guys like this kind of process, I mean, that's great, okay? So, I mean, I mean, so this is perfect, you know, uh, kind of perfect hobby for that. But if you don't like this, if you, this thing is too much for you, just use the pressurized basket, okay? They have another pressurized basket for like double shot basket. So this one, you can, uh, you can use your pre-grind coffee. You don't have to worry about grinder setting much because everything is so pressurized coming up perfectly. So. You don't have to worry about it. It's going to be as good as non-pressurized basket shot? No. But, first of all, save you a lot of money. No, save a lot of time. And also, you don't have to waste any coffee beans. And then, you're going to be in and out, okay? Because, I mean, most of us, I mean, that's what we want anyway. But, if people like us, obviously you guys are watching, which means you guys are, you guys take coffee seriously. And, just have fun, okay? I mean, don't worry, don't worry too much about the ratio or the length of time because at some point you are going to find a shot you like, okay? And uh, you know what? I like to get a longer shot or shorter time or different dosing amounts. You can just have fun with it. Just play with it. Make sure, make a note, okay? Make sure, make a note on piece of paper. Piece of paper. You know what? I like you know, this shot yesterday. Here's the time. Here's the dosing amount. So just keep track of it. But I, I mean, I hope, you know, video like this help you. Make sure if you guys like this video, make sure press like. Uh, oh, look like I got some questions. Go ahead. And then, by the way, uh, so after, use, I mean, usually my live streaming, like after, I usually take questions. So if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, don't be shy about it. Just, you know, just let me know in the comment section. Or just give me on the chat. If you are watching us live, just give us the, you know, just let me know the question. By the way, so far we raised $430 through Super Chat, Super Sticker, and also PayPal as well. So that money goes to our next coffee machine. It's going to be dual boiler with the PID, and then a rotary pump, and what else? Pretty much it, okay? And so that's what we want. Okay, uh, let's hear some questions. Um, Victor from the Philippines. You got Victor from Philippines has a question, okay. Victor is looking for coffee machine that not pressurized. Yeah. Okay, so let's pressurize. What do you mean by pressurize? Because we are, we are talking about the basket here, pressurized baskets. So this is non-pressurized baskets. This one is pressurized baskets. So, but I mean, a lot of coffee machine they give you both. Actually, they give you non-pressurized basket. The reason why people give you pressurized basket for Bravo because it's a lot easier to use, so. Okay. okay. Uh, next question. I'm gonna uh, big shout out to Dane for super sticker. Okay, go on. How's the DF64 compared with the built-in grinder of the Rebel Barista Pro? Okay, so again, so th this is a good old question. Is a, is a house compare DF64 versus built-in grinder? You know what, any standalone coffee grinder is better than Built-in grinder, okay. So, but the difference is not huge. Okay, it's not big. Okay, we are talking about that much. And then plus, if you are using milk-based drink, I mean, once you are drinking milk-based drink like latte or cappuccino, you put some sugar in it. There's no difference. So, I mean, if I were you know, built-in grinder is just fine. I've been using it for years. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. okay um, what else? My wife is uh, looking at the question and then she, she, she's kind of like moderator. Okay, and? And how is the Amazon vacuum canister working out? 
How's the Amazon backend canister working out? Okay, so far so good. Okay, works pretty good. But it's not perfect. Uh, I hope they are going to fix the uh, fix their connector. So they are USB charge. This connector is very flimsy. Yeah, it's not the magnet is not strong enough. Okay, but it, it does work, but it's flimsy. I mean, if you are paying you know forty bucks on canister, I I want to be you know tight, but it's not. But hopefully they are going to fix fix the issue. But overall, it comes to vacuum seal, what works good. But is that is this better than fellow Atmos? You know what? Time to tell. But yeah, but this one, you know, there's no electric uh, motor inside. It's just all manual. So again, it's. It, so this is my go-to coffee canister, okay, right now. And also, I do enjoy the airscape as well. But I mean, if you guys are into vacuum, yeah, uh, Atmos is where to go. Are there drop tests for grinders? Do they exist? Drop test for a coffee grinder. You know what? I, I actually I accidentally dropped my niche, uh, so I have a big scratch on it to the side, but still works fine. So yeah. I was re I was really bummed that yeah I I dropped it about a couple of weeks ago but yeah it was a shame but but still works great. Victor asked, should I grind it fine if it's sour? I'm using the Seco. Print. Okay, so v v Victor's uh, shot is sour. Okay, so sour means uh, make sure make it a little finer. I mean again, I mean you want when you pull the shot, make sure you use the scale and timer. Make sure. Time your shot because you want to be between like you know the specialty coffee association say between 25 and 30 seconds. Okay, start with that that time period and see if you are in that do, with you are within that time range there. If your shot is sour, okay, so you are going to lower the coffee grinder size, give it more extraction. Also, make sure to check the water temperature too. If the water temperature is too, you know, it's not hot enough, you got a sour shot. So make sure to check the temperature as well if you can adjust it. Bill asked you to make a single shot on your Lapaboni. So single shot on my Lapaboni. Uh, uh, maybe there's no single shot on Lapaboni because there's no single shot baskets on Lapaboni. So Lapaboni, uh, that's more like 14 gram baskets. So. The, in Europe, okay, in European, the double shot is 14 gram uh, dosing, okay? So more like triple shot is more like, you know, 20 gram. So with the IMS filter basket I have right now, I use it for about 21 gram. So that's about triple shot basket here. So, I mean, we drink a lot of coffee in this country. So Pablo says, I'm new to coffee and I'm thinking of starting with a Bianca or Synchronal. Okay, so Pablo. So Pablo is go all in, okay? I'm gonna big shout out to Pablo. Start with Bianca or which one? Synchronical. Uh, I think ECM, the Synchronical, I think. Yes. Man, man, Pablo, way to go, buddy. Okay, so uh, can't go wrong with the both coffee machines, but if you are brand new to brand new to the coffee, the real question is, if you don't like the process. You don't want to spend thousands of dollars on coffee machine if you're not going to use it. So, uh, you know what? Okay, so I have plenty of plenty of videos on my channel. Struggle with my gravel machine. So maybe watch a couple of those videos. Just watch it and maybe this is what you like to do. Okay, that case, just go all in and first time. But if you're not quite sure, get the cheaper machine and then you can always return it. Okay, make sure you get it from like Amazon or something. Try out for like, you know, a sales machine. Use it for like a couple weeks and hey, you know what? If you like it, okay. That's the case. Return it and get yourself the real, you know, get the little let. I think that's not a bad idea. Theodore asks, when we use a double filter for grounded beans, how come I only get 15 gram and an 18 gram Florida filter? How much yield should I expect? So if you put 18 gram in it, it comes to coffee grinds, you want to uh, depend on your ratio you like. You know, I like to get about, you know, 
40 to 40, between 40 and 50 grams out the liquid. So that's what I like to do. Yeah. You mean uh, for my, which one? So I have a Brista Pro. So this is a single dose model, okay, from, uh, from Amazon. So this one is, the single dose is very popular nowadays. So this one, uh, you can get it from Amazon as well. If you want, I can put the link down below. It's about 50 bucks, not cheap, okay? But the cheaper than one before. Uh, the one before is like $80 for that. So. I mean, single dose mod is fun to use. Is it necessary? No, it's not necessary, but you know, again, I mean, if you have money to burn, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put the link down for you as well. Um, okay, I so if you are just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to the channel, okay? I mean, that's pretty much what we do. We, we, we talk about the coffee in the beginning and the, to the end, you know, I take questions, have some fun with it. So yeah, I'm glad, you know, I hope, I hope you guys will learn something from it. And also make sure, you know, chit chat with people. I think we have some, a lot of people on the chat room. So make sure introduce yourself and have some fun. Justin says, where's the automatic Amazon milk frother? Okay, Justin say, where's the automatic milk frother? Is on my shop, my coffee dungeon right now, Justin. Yeah. So we, we have, I have a big plan for that as well, that milk frother. So we're gonna have some, we're gonna make some more videos on that. So, uh, okay, I was planning on using my rock grinder this morning. Okay. So I, I like to compare that with Bravo Barista Pro. So let's do that tomorrow morning, okay. So tomorrow morning, uh, if you guys are around, join us. So it's gonna be a rock versus uh, Bravo Barista Pro, the built-in versus the rock grinder. So. This one, this grinder is about what, $180 or 200 bucks from UK. Uh, works really good. So far, I'm really pleased with it. So let's compare that tomorrow morning. So AJ asked, if you have to sell all your coffee machines but one, which would you keep? If I'm going to sell all, okay, so right now I have Brisa Pro, Express, Rancherio, Silvia, La Paboni. Okay, I have a flare. I have a few other coffee machine, a manual machine. But right now, I am selling my Rancheria Serbia right now. It's on my Craigslist in Tucson, so I'm, I'm already selling it. So, and so, if I'm gonna keep one machine, I think I, man, that's toss between Express versus Pro. I think I, right now, okay, since I'm making a lot of milk based drink a lot, I think I keep the Pro, okay. But I do enjoy the Express though. Brista Express is also, okay. So I'm getting a, this gadget, okay. I'm getting this gadget from uh, other country. Okay, let's put it that way. So this gadget could be the game changer for Brista Express. So if that gadget works, I definitely keep the uh, uh, Bravo Brista Express over Brista Pro because this gadget I'm getting it's going to be big game changer there. So it's about what? $20 modification. It's not even mod. Okay. It's just a tool. And if that works, hopefully I can show you next coming, uh, next week or so. Hopefully next coming, it all depends on the shipping. So once I get it, let's play with the Brista Express. If that works, it's going to be amazing. So let's put it that way. So Bill asked. So Bill has a question. Okay, seven gram shot, yeah, that is a traditional shot. But with, with any coffee machines right now, okay, Bravo give you that single basket. I put about nine gram in it. You could put seven gram shot if you want to, but it's tricky, tricky to dial then. So you got seven gram in, or depend on the ratio, what, 14 to 20 gram out. So yeah, it's a tricky. It's not easy to dial in the single shot. Ch uh, coffee machine from China, man, they are getting better and better every single day. So, man, there are so a lot of machines coming out from China because the fact is a lot of coffee makers, the Italian company or other countries, they're making in China anyway. So 
so China has a lot of resources and yeah, so they're coming up from a lot of interesting machines. Uh, I think uh, CY has a triple boiler, not single or double, triple. So yeah, a lot of machine, comes a longevity, that's questionable, but yeah. But they have a really good machine though. Hans says, do we have a fellow discount code? Hans say fellow discount, yes, Hun 10, okay? Hun 10, the, you, get, you, uh, you get to have 10% discounts. I'm trying to get a discount code for eight ounce coffee for my friends in Canada because uh, I know you guys have uh, eight ounce coffee there so I I'm working on get the code for you guys as well eight ounce coffee they sell a lot of coffee products so it'd be good but yeah fellow is a uh, hun ten for that make sure yeah make sure get the ten percent is not a lot but still better than nothing My Rancholio, why am I selling my Rancholio 3 bit? No, they're a great machine, uh, has a built-in PID, they're amazing. I'm running out of space, guys. Okay, I'm running out of space, so because I'm looking at buying another machine right now, a uh, dual boiler, so yeah, I, I have to make a space. And Dane says the Rancholio with a single boiler is great for black coffee, but its workflow for milk-based yeah. is horrible. Uh, I mean, but again, but if you are true, Espresso lovers, espresso. I'm talking about espresso or black coffee. Rancholio is way to go. Rancholio is great. Gaza Classic Pro. I mean, those two machines, yeah, can can go wrong with it. Especially with uh, my PID as well. So, I mean, if you guys are, yeah, if you guys are into that, let me know. Bill says he'll unfriend you if you give away your Lapaboni. Bill say if I give away, uh, Lapaboni is not going anywhere, Bill. There. That one is something special, okay? Yeah, I love that lapaboni. Okay. Justin says, do you have an eight ounce discount code? Justin, I'm working on the eight ounce code, right? Eight ounce coffee right now, okay? Uh, trying to working on the discount code for you guys, my friends in Canada. But Canada has, I have a lot of uh, viewers uh, watching from Canada, so yeah, I'm trying to work on their code for you. The fellow, obviously, not neutral. I have the fifteen uh, dollars discount code for the not neutral. Okay, uh, all the cups I'm using, I got fifteen percent off the coupon code. Fellow, I have fellow coupon code, but yeah, let me work on the eight ounce. Eight, I do like eight ounce. Uh, they sell the Acme cups. They are fantastic. If you like, if you guys like latte, I'm gonna take a few more questions and. Uh, Oh, perfect. So, I mean, again, I mean, so that's what we usually do in the morning. Uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome. And just first 10 minutes, so we talk about the topical. So today we will talk about, hold on, the single shot basket there. And then after that, if you have any questions or comments, we just kind of have fun for, man, we are on for 42, 43 minutes. So yeah, that's it. But I'm planning on making a lot more edited videos too, because Sometimes we don't have to sit there for 42 minutes to get the, my point across. Uh, one of my video, I have a grinder setting videos. I think I have over over 150,000 views on that. That uh, that uh, my video I posted about two years ago, 25 or 26 minutes long. How to adjust grinder setting? But if I do right now, it takes up about three minutes for that video. So. I'm glad some of you are watching it. Thank you for that. But yeah. So again, the edited portion of videos are a lot, you know, just get the point across in and out. But with, so this is more like long form. Uh, my morning live streaming is for, is, this is more for you guys to just chit chat and hang out, have some fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow morning, but we're going to figure something out, okay? Actually, no, we do know uh, what we're going to do. We are going to play with the rock hand grinder, okay? All right, see you guys tomorrow.